the Colorado third season. Guys, this is one of my favorite hunts and I've been lucky enough to do this hunt for many years. But this year is different. I'm holding not only a mule deer tag, but an elk tag as well. So I focus most of my time and energy to fill the elk tag first, then I would focus on hunting deer after that. So we're picking up after the elk hunt was complete and there's only a couple days to get it done. But this time of the year, you never know what's gonna show up. The rut is in full swing, so sit back and enjoy this video. And don't forget, the elk hunt is coming soon, so stay tuned. Alright guys, it's Friday, last day of the season, and I'm still packing that mule deer tag. And like I hoped, we got a fresh blanket of snow across the whole mountain range. Great visibility, very little wind. This is what you call a dream day when it comes to hunting mule deer in November. So, I don't think there's a ton of deer in this area, to be honest, but I think there's enough. We're just gonna start high in glass. We're gonna take a little hike off this edge and just put the glass up, see if we can't see some deer moving. They're gonna stick out like a sore thumb out in some of these burns. And let's hope that a big buck is cruising this country. And if we find one, we're gonna drop him. So let's go. Well guys, uh, our first spot produced no deer, so we're gonna move up to try to get some new angles. We actually saw some deer last night while we were hiking out. They were too far away to know if there's a buck. But tip for you, fresh blanket of snow. When you're glassing, especially the sunny faces, you can see a fresh track in the snow so well. So we know at this time, there's a new blanket of snow. Heck, most of the night it was windblown. So if you're glassing and see fresh tracks, stay on them because you're gonna find those animals somewhere close by. So I can see a ton of tracks in the timber, thick timber. Get some elevation, try to figure out what's making all those tracks and uh, get a little higher. Look off on this side. It's cold because there's a little wind up here, but it's a beautiful day. So it's a great way to end on it. Just kind of sticking and moving and using this elevation to see a lot of different canyons and a lot of angles on these canyons. We're gonna wait for this fog to lift. Looks like it's gonna move out here pretty quickly. The sun's not in our favor, but we're gonna pick apart all these big burns here below us. And we caught those four does or four deer, we'll say that way. Can't see it right now because the fog. So we're just trying to pick those apart, stick with the does. It's that time of the year where the buck should show up with the does and just see what we can pick out of here. Don't really want to commit to bombing down into this back country until one, we know that our elk meat will, will, will be taken out today. And two, unless it's a buck worth going after. So just trying to be strategic, not kill ourselves. I've been at it all week. So we're going to use the energy that we have left only if it's like a good buck. So you can cover a lot of country. You think that ought to be, ought to be possible. Endless country. All right, guys, called Matty Ice over here. You know Matt, he's a big mule deer freak. And uh, he got eyes on the buck and said, it looks like a nice old mature buck. I, I thought I could see that he was a four by four, pretty tight, but like looked like decent mass when he turned away. But you get those dark antlers against the snow. Maybe, maybe I'm seeing too much, but 
I've got my buddy Taylor here. I'm going to let him introduce himself to the crowd, and then I think we are going to put some boots on the ground and go try to put a stock on this guy. All right, so we got the buck that Eric spotted. He's moving. He's walking up to that doe. By the way, I'm Taylor with Stay Glassing. It's awesome to be out here with these two guys learning from the best. He's a nice buck. He's tall too. Definitely tall. Getting some snacks. Did you get the footage? Mm-hmm. He's up. I just want to I just want to confirm with my eyeballs what yeah, I'm seeing. I want to look at him a little bit too. I spend a lot of times out hunting and shed hunting where I'm like, are we kind of crazy? Right now is one of those moments. We are dropping elevation past our bulls, which our bulls are already down there. And we're gonna go after this buck, but feeling confident between these two, they're both all about it. They offered to make the push with me. So going in with three guys for a meal there, I'm feeling pretty confident. The deer are up kind of milling around and we just, we don't want them to wrap around that ridge because we'll lose them. So it's gonna get wild. We're not wasting any time. Get down here and try to get within shooting range and get this buck. He looks like a nice four point. That's what we were looking for. Perfect guys, we've uh, worked our way about halfway. The deer are bedded, the buck's the highest one. He's just bedded in the snow, it's pretty sweet. He's got four does to the left of him, standing two to the right, bedded, and he's somewhat quartered away with his head to the left. So, we're gonna continue through this meadow, then we have to push through some pine trees and then climb a little bit and get on this little bench. And I'm just hoping that we're shooting up at him with a clear window. Definitely a nice mature buck, something that would be, we're talking about, like I'd be super happy with, especially on the last day. We're ready, we got, I'll tell you what, having Taylor here, has given me just that extra confidence, not so much getting down here, but getting out. He offered to help, and so we're gonna make him back the entire thing out. <laughs> Break him in. But no, seriously, have three guys. Having three guys. I'm down. He says he'll do it. He'll carry two quarters before I'm Oh man. Game on, guys. It's looking good.
slide the gun forward or backwards too in the vise to get it resting on the log. Just laid his head down. I got him, dude. Nice oh shot, goodness. bro. I'm still on him, just in case. Yeah, he's there. <laughs> <laughs> we just killed that buck. Jeez. He hasn't moved, dude. No, not an inch. <laughs> awesome shot, man. Thank you. That's Guys, we just pulled the last day freaking buck hunt on a nice buck. Dang. Make him slide all the way down the hill now. We're gonna make a mule deer toboggan on that one. Yeah. We'll just slide him down. Yeah, Holy smokes, dude. Yeah. He didn't even move. Dude, that shot. Is that a good one, Matty Ice? It's a great one, dude. Dandy buck, yes. We got a nice buck on the last day. We did everything we said we would, and it freaking worked like a charm. Oh. Dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, that'll work. I would say the dumbest stuff. <laughs> Dead. He, he didn't even flinch. Dead. Dude, what a sweet four point. Oh. Yeah. Best buck oh, we've dude, seen. Yeah, I think he may have a little junk on the side. <laughs> on the right side? Yeah. I kind of wanted to say that up there, but I wasn't sure. I'm still I, not sure. Yeah, maybe. Beautiful buck, Eric. Thank you. I'm gonna have these in here just in case on the hike up, but they're gonna be wrapped, all right, everybody? Okay. On safety. <laughs> that was, what a freaking push that was. Dude, thank you for letting me be here. Absolutely. I'm so glad that you got an experience like that. No problem, brother. Is this recording? Last day buck, guys. <laughs> I gotta say thanks to these two. Thanks to those two for pushing. Like, it's hard to, explain how much we dropped and how much deadfall we crossed we got to right where i dropped a pin on onyx literally right where i dropped a pin on this meadow and luckily he was just enough on our side to be visible bedded quartered away we don't have time to waste we're gonna maybe stand him up matt said shoot him i wanted to shoot him we can't we have no time to waste so we're gonna get up there get some great pictures and take care of this deer and get out good news is the mules got to the elk and they're getting out too so what a way to end a freaking hunt, man. Holy cow, fellas. How was that for some content, guys? <laughs> Fourth and 10. And uh, yeah, we're not getting back till dark, but it'll be worth it. First time hunting with these guys. <laughs> I just, I can't believe it. <laughs> Nothing can top this. <laughs> Nothing can. That was cool. Way to push. I'll tell you what, uh, Taylor and Nick, both of them, I've been in touch with them a bunch on Instagram and it's cool, guys. Social media gets a lot of flack, but I will promise you this. I have met some of my absolute best friends and some of the best people, some of the most generous people to, to give their time, their energy, and attention to me. And uh, social media is a freaking bomb. I don't care what anybody says. It's fun. Use it for a positive, and it's positive. Use it for negative, and it's negative. Get on there and let it ruin you. It will, but stay true to who you are and connect with others that have passions like you do. I promise social media is fun. So thank you, thank you so much. we got a lot of work to do. We're gonna let Matt do the good stuff and get up there and check him out. Let's go see this guy. The top of that round snowy knob. That's right where I found him bedded. He wasn't 50 to 70 yards from where I first spotted him this morning. It took us two hours and 20 minutes from the time we committed to the time we killed him. 
and that's going downhill. So imagine what it's going to be like going uphill with weight. <laughs> Again, good thing I got three guides, but it's a beautiful day. We kind of figured that storm blew out. We'd be able to spot some deer in the snow. So we'll get up there, take care of them. And then we've got over well, three miles into the hike now. We're probably three and a half, not three and a half with the steepness, but I don't know, over three miles on the push out. And it's all uphill. And then at the very end where we shot the elk, it's like that. Nice buck. Nice and tight, like, you know, I was telling you, he's kind of tight. Oh, I love those dark antlers. Wow. Gorgeous buck. There you go, Bobby. Dude. We say it every year we're out here, these Colorado bucks, they're built different. Look at the neck on that thing. Beautiful cape, giant body. Giant, giant body. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep this on. I know it looks silly, but it protects my... Dude. Matt, that cape is humongous. He is so healthy. He is so healthy and fat. Oh man. Just a pretty typical, huh? Really symmetrical buck. Eye guards. All his forks are good. Balanced. But that body is giant. Thank you. Thank you, buck. It was everything we were looking for on this last day. I never felt stressed about it either, to be honest. Matt and I were just having fun this morning. No rush. Sticking and moving, sticking and moving like you saw. And glass this buck bedded, heck, just over there. Trust me, I hesitated more than once. Looking back at where we saw him, it's pretty wild where we have to hike out of. But I know we're going to make it out okay. We're going to play it safe. But I'm just so freaking blessed right now and thanksgiving is near so that's something to be thankful for right there friendships public land and mule deer <laughs> i'm happy thank you guys Guys, I'll probably say this often, but that was one of the gnarliest pack outs 
of all time. Yeah. One of the lengthiest and steepest. Best two people to do it with though right here. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Yeah. Um, the horses and mules got the elk meet up. And there's a few guys that I can't thank enough for their generosity to take time out of their day to do that for us. I feel like I don't even know them. Complete strangers, all, all of them. So we're super thankful for the guys. Gonna have to do something nice, give them a gift or something, but. We're back. This is where the video ends, guys. Colorado 2023 mule deer hunt. Hope you enjoyed it. You got to see some of the back end of getting our elk out. Um, one week of hunting, four animals taken out of these mountains uh, with some of my best friends, like I said. And so I just want to say thanks to you guys if you stuck to the end. Shout out, shameless shout out to our store, GetHushin.com. I don't know if we've got any new viewers, but we got a bunch of merch on GetHushin.com. Thanks to uh, Taylor again, Nick, his buddy that came to the elk hunt. That's a wrap, guys. It's cold and we're hungry, so see you on the next one.